Hey guys, and today we'll be making abstract geometric pictures. You will need a canvas, either poster or acrylic paint, masking tape, a cup of water, a paintbrush, a sponge, and either glitter glue or PVA and glitter. Start by sticking down your masking tape to create geometric shapes. Make sure that you stick your tape down in a straight line and flatten it down, which I forgot to do and it affects the finish on my picture. You don't need scissors for this, just tear using your hands. Do a mixture of smaller and bigger sections Now you can choose which painting technique you want to use. I have two to show you. This first one is great fun for children in nursery or possibly even in reception. However, I warn you, it can be messy. All they need to do is to add a selection of colours, about three or four different colours to the canvas using their fingers and hands. They can dab it, smear it, bang it, whatever they decide to do as long as it covers the whole of the canvas. I have to say, it was actually quite therapeutic. I enjoyed smearing mine on there. Now I'm going to use a hexagon shaped canvas just because the angles on it really complement the angles within the picture so either a square, rectangular or hexagonal canvas is really really good for this. When it comes to the older children here is a more precise and cleaner method. This involves painting sections and block colours. Make sure you don't have two of the same colour in two sections next to each other otherwise it doesn't look so great in the end. Also to add some texture into this painting you can use a sponge to dab more than one colour into a section. I use pink and blue in one section and pink and teal in another. For good colour combinations, I suggest looking at the colour wheel and choosing two colours next to each other, so harmonious colours, one opposite to them, which is the contrasting colour, and a metallic colour. Look at the colours that I have used. I've used teal and a dark blue as my colours that are similar, and the pink contrasts against them. My gold is my chosen metallic colour.
I added a bit of gold glitter glue over two of my sections. Ideally, it would have been better to have a section full of PVA glue and sprinkle loads of glitter over it. But I only had glitter glue at home at the time, which is not as effective. Time for the big reveal! Don't do what I did. I didn't have time to let it dry before filming this video. So when I pulled the masking tape off, I didn't have nice clean lines you'll be able to see. Do it right, let it fully dry before peeling the tape off. Learn from my mistake. And there you have it, a nice, easy, simple abstract picture for different skill levels. See you next week for more Art with Miss Burford.